So this is the Alcatel 3V MC. Well, I guess that's their way of saying Canadian version, but this is the 2019 edition. And I want to talk to you guys about whether or not it is going to be considered the 2020 budget king in my books. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Hey guys, Darsh here. So I've been using this phone for the past probably two, three weeks, and it's been on and off as my daily driver. And I wanna talk about exactly why I think this might be the budget king for 2020, at least if you're in Canada and you have access to it. Now, before I really get into any of this, if you guys do like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really does support me. And also make sure to leave some comments and leave some feedback. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Without any further ado though, without getting too hasty, let's get right into it. Now, moving into the first thing, that is design. So this is the Elegant Black Edition, and it is probably the most elegant fingerprint magnet I have ever seen. Now, what I mean by this is on the back, there is a fingerprint sensor, and because the phone is really large, it is a 6.7 inch display on the front with two huge bezels. Now you can probably imagine finding the fingerprint sensor on the back with my somewhat mediocre sized hands is decently hard and I end up smudging the entire back of the phone. Yes, that kind of sucks. Now, moving on from that though, beside it being a fingerprint magnet, we also have on the back, we have two cameras. We have a dual camera setup. Now it's not necessarily meant for the natural dual camera settings, one telephoto or wide angle. Rather, the second camera is dedicated for portrait pictures and the main camera is just for main camera pictures. So the main camera is a 16 megapixel camera and the second one is a five megapixel camera. Now, these cameras aren't amazing, but I will talk about them in a little bit. Moving over to the flip side, let's move to the front. Now the front of the phone has a 6.7 inch display. It is 720p by 1440p, meaning it is 720p display, but in their words, it is HD plus. Now, by no means is this is full HD. It's not super impressive, but it works and it offers a decent experience. Now the top of the phone, we have a headset like speaker, and we also have just a general multimedia speaker. Yes, this phone has dual stereo speaker systems and the second one is on the bottom and I'll show that in a little sec. But yeah, so we also have a front facing camera and that camera is a eight megapixel camera. Again, kind of like a potato. Now moving on to the bottom of the phone, we have the other stereo speaker that I mentioned, a microphone and the USB type C port. Yes, USB type C, meaning that budget phones can also get USB type C in, which is great to see. <laughs> now on the top of the phone, we have a we have the headphone jack, which is honestly a great addition. Really happy to see it. And on the right side of the phone, we have a volume rocker and sleep wake button. Now this is a little bit of a weird setup. Now it's a weird orientation because the sleep wake button's on the bottom and the vol volume rocker is on the top. I don't know how I feel about that. I tend to get them mixed up all too easily and it gets really very annoying, but oh well, I guess we have to live with it. Quickly, before we do get into the other part, I wanna give a huge shout out to our partner for this video and that is Nord. Now you guys might be aware of Nord VPN. They're an amazing VPN service and they've been rated by critics everywhere. They're amazing. They're a really good service. Now they've made a new one called Nord Pass and it's basically a password vault and I have the amazing opportunity to work with them and offer you guys a really sweet deal on the entire package. So if you guys wanna use my promo code Darsh at checkout, you guys can get 50% off on a two year plan, which honestly just comes out to about two bucks a month. So it's pretty great and it's honestly a cool thing to have, especially now in a time like this where we all should be social distancing and being in a little bit of self-isolation. It's honestly fantastic because we have the opportunity to check out more apps and check out more accounts. And yeah, there's a lot of passwords that I need to save and this has really saved my butt on countless times. So definitely recommend you guys check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Link is down below. Moving on though, let's talk about my experience with the 3V. So my overall experience, I would categorize as meh. Now, not amazing, not bad, just meh. <laughs> so let me explain. So it is a little laggy, especially when you're trying to game or do anything graphic intensive. So one of the games I actually recently got into was Call of Duty Mobile. And I've been trying to use that as my trademark and benchmark for games on phones and tablets because it is a pretty demanding game. It is fully online like Fortnite. So you're constantly connecting with new players around the world and you're also playing a graphic intensive first person shooter. Now, by no means was it terrible, but it definitely wasn't great. So in the bottom left corner, you actually had a small little icon that said, low graphic quality because the graphics were really low and overall it was a little bit laggy but it was passable and playable but i still wouldn't recommend it now moving on from the gameplay because it definitely isn't what i would recommend let's talk a little bit about entertainment and media consumption now if you guys are anything like me when you're bored all you do is sit down and find a new streaming hunt a new binge show on netflix and for me right now is Grey's anatomy i just finished it fantastic show highly recommend it but other than just recommending it, I did check out this a lot of the seasons while using this phone, and I found that even though it is a 720p screen, 
I still had fun and really enjoyed using it and watching shows. This might be a little bit biased because the shows are older and so the quality of the show's production isn't the greatest in the first couple seasons, but still pretty great for media consumption, especially with those stereo speakers that I mentioned earlier. Now, moving into camera qualities. Now, I would categorize this by just saying potato. Potato, potato. Yeah, no, it all works. Um, basically, the cameras are by no means amazing. So on the back, we have a 16 megapixel main camera and we have a five megapixel portrait camera. Now, the 16 megapixel and the five megapixel put together for the portraits aren't that bad, but for some reason, I can't seem for it to get a good identification of what I'm shooting at my subject and the overall pictures that end up coming out of it aren't the greatest either. I find them to be very flat and all what kind of underexposed. I find the highlights to kind of just be not like not existent and then the shadows of course are overblown and just really really bad. Now, here are all the specs if you are interested in learning about all the specifications, so I won't have to read them out. The only one I really want to touch on next is the 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, this battery life is genuinely fantastic. I get a full day and a half out of it with no problems. The phone, honestly, is so big that it does require such a big battery, but I guess because of the screen size and the screen quality, you can expect a decent amount of battery and a decent experience out of this. So the real question now is, so who is this for? <laughs> So I think that it is for anyone looking for a budget phone. Now, this could be kids, maybe someone who wants to get their kids something a little bit more durable. Because of the full pot plastic body, you can expect a pretty decent and durable experience. Um, or maybe even grandparents or phone or parents who want a phone that they don't really have to demand a lot out of, that can do the basics, the phones, the calls, the emails, and maybe a little bit of gaming on the side or watching Netflix. But that's overall my experience and what I think about it. So that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Please let me know what you guys think and drop some comments down below with some feedback. And also to everyone out there right now experiencing a tough time due to COVID-19, I give a huge shout out to each of you guys. I hope you guys are pushing through and you guys are gonna get through it. Uh, make sure to stay safe, social distancing, self-isolation and all that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.